Hello and welcome to the online A-Level Tutor. Why do some firms remain small? While there are some advantages from growing, some firms prefer remaining small for various reasons. Barriers to entry. The first is legal barriers which is when the government itself may prevent firms from growing, for example it may be to prevent firms becoming monopolies, 25% plus. Patents also give legal protection to ensure that that IDOS cannot be copied by other firms. Also licenses can prevent firms from growing, for example, lawyers need to have qualifications. There may also be marketing barriers which is when marketing is too expensive. It is a sunk cost, and can fail, example may be Coca-Cola with Dosani, hence some firms have to remain small. Another type is pricing barriers which is when other firms could implement limit pricing so you cannot grow. Technical barriers, other more established firms have greater economies of scale, hence you cannot physically compete, therefore remain small. Niche market businesses, if a firm serves a niche market that will not support expansion, there is little scope for growth. For example creating cricket bats is a niche market. Firms may lack resources, the owners may lack knowledge, expertise and funds to expand. This may prevent expansion, because once a firm expands, it is much more complicated and the owner may not be able to cope with such rapid expansion. A firm may have reached its minimum efficiency scales. This is when some firms have already exploited all their economies of scale that is are producing at the most efficiently optimal point. If it were to expand, it would cause this economies of scale, hence cannot expand. Businesses may lack of motivation, expansion may result in increased rewards but perhaps the opportunity cost in terms of lost leisure may be too much for a sole trader and therefore the firm remains small. In other words it lacks motivation to expand. This is an example of satisfying where a firm makes just enough profit to stay in business and then allows other motives to take precedence. Some managers may not be willing to take risks that are necessary to expand, hence avoid expansion. Behavioral economists might try to explain such risk-averse behavior, but it could come down to something as simple as wishing to avoid risk-taking with the family finances, mortgages and savings. A firm may want to be avoiding attention of potential buyers. The growth of the firm and its increased profits may result in unwanted overtires from larger firms wishing to buy out the sole trader. It is therefore an advantage to remain small and avoid attention. There may be tax threshold and other benefits of remaining small. Once a firm exceeds thresholds of minimum tax brackets, then they will end up paying more taxes overall. If a firm turns over less than a pound 73,000 then they do not have to pay VAT. Why do some firms break up? Some firms may grow too large and experience diseconomies of scale. As a result of the growth of output, the businesses and managers may lose focus and may lose control over day-to-day -day processes, hence long-run average costs increase. Because there are too many people, there is poorer communication, hence become inefficient. Therefore firms break up, they merge. An example may be later than TSB merging. Thank you for listening to my robot voice. Please subscribe and like and share for more economics lessons.